Hey everyone, welcome to the pre-season chat with the in-game Alfa Romeo team. Uh, much similar to the one in uh, season three. Um, no difference pretty much, but we get to see more of Rocketman who's with us and also defending uh, driver's champion of the B BRL, Big Man Joe. So boys, clearly the team won the constructors as well, but let's go straight to Rocketman. Bro, what are the expectations of the season? How excited are you that you will possibly be there for every race? Go for it. Tell us. Um, I'm getting back into the game after a long time. It's, it, 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 it is very exciting and it is very challenging at the same time. For me, it's, it's getting back onto the track with all my boys here. Big Man Joe, UK, KDB, all the people we started the league long back last year in March, I think. So, yeah, it brings back a lot of memories again. I'm hoping to, you know, give my best and we'll see where it takes us. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we have a strong contender here along with me, mm -hmm. Big Man Joe. I just hope that I can keep up with him and we'll give it a good fight in the Constructors' Championship. Right. Well, speaking of which, on that note, Big Man Joe, how did preseason testing um, go for you? And of course, thoughts on Rocketman uh, being alongside you through the season. Yeah, I just want to continue with the same lineup because uh, it's a sense of familiarity and we get to practice together. So, um, and I love the car. Alfa Romeo is a, me and Alfa Romeo is a good combination at the moment. Let's see. <laughs> um, yeah, preseason testing was good in a sense that even though, uh, at least for the commentator, it was a bit hard to see who was actually uh, putting in the laps, who was sandbagging. But at least for me, I could make out what is everyone's actual pace. Um, so I'm a bit off the pace with respect to a few guys. Uh, but for the most part, I think top five, top 10, at least for both of us, is very much doable. Um, winning the races is going to be a bit hard with uh, General Pepe and KDB. Even Avi also seems really, really good. So um, we'll just try to uh, take every race as it comes, try to keep it clean, go for a good strategy and uh, just be there, you know, because even if you're up there amongst all of them, if uh, they get taken out, some shit happens during the race, uh, we'll always be there to pounce on it. So, yeah. And uh, to that note, uh, Rocky Mahar, did you feel about preseason testing? I felt like I was a little off pace than before. Like uh, the competition has definitely increased. People have definitely improved over time. Uh, I will be needing a lot more practice, which I will get. So I, I think, uh, yeah, uh, top 10 is definitely doable. Uh, winning races will be a hell of a fight. But yeah, uh, we'll give it our best and see how it goes, basically. So so I asked Thor the same question, like whose uh, performance did you see um, improve? Uh, over time because he was there alongside you when the whole league started before even we came into the picture and he mentioned big man joe who do you think uh, who do you think based on performance uh, they've improved incredibly i th i think uh, uh, shrivi amongst all his torpedo uh, shenanigans uh, his pace has definitely improved uh, ishan sikha has improved in pace but not in his racecraft from what I've seen. Uh, but yeah, overall, in a general perspective, everyone has become better, a lot better than how it used to be two seasons ago. Uh, yeah, the competition up high there, uh, we have, like, at least if you if you only talk about the midfield, you see likes of uh, Vex, you see Gauts, you see Nishchai. Nishchai sometimes, you know, goes up there at the top. And uh, there are a lot, there are a lot, a lot of people. In, in, yeah, overall, I think everyone has improved to a certain extent. Uh, I don't see anyone being at the same pace as they used to be before. Cool. And uh, Bhaganjo, a question to you. A lot of people feel uh, Freeze has incredible pace in this game. And uh, we kind of saw that in one of the preseason testing sessions as well. He qualified up there uh, in that uh, feature race, so to speak. 
thoughts on his pace i would agree with that uh, because even when we practice with him he is uh, up there so yeah i would say uh, him and honig is a very good combination in terms of uh, qualifying and the race so mercedes is going to be uh, pretty uh, pretty difficult to beat um, both of them have really good pace so yeah i would agree with that yeah okay cool then uh, let's just jump into a bunch of questions the members of the league have asked the both of you all um probably let's start. how significantly is rocketman going to improve is a question that is partly answered already but in case you want to shed more light on that rocketman i yeah maybe i can answer that uh, rocketman is a very good uh, gamer i mean he is very very intelligent so pretty much any game that he takes uh, you know the, he spends years and he he gets to a very high level and uh, he keeps on improving so with f1 2019 as well uh, you know it was his system that caused most of the issues and then his motivation from there went so now that that is resolved and he is putting in time into the game i think over the season we'll see him improve his pace a lot so yeah um, i agree with that and yeah rocketman's thoughts i think uh, he can weigh mm-hmm. in here yeah. yeah it was just a, a matter of time actually i just want to put in the hours i i know that i'll get back up to pace with some of the guys up top uh, but yeah it it'll need some hard work and uh, i'm i'm ready to put some okay will it um question for you big man jo general pepe a threat to big man jo or no uh no because he is going to win most races if he is on the field he is faster um he has more time with the wheel he's been racing with people from irc and we know how fast they are you know so uh, strength of field is more so for me uh no uh, i'm just looking forward to racing alongside him uh, whether we will be battling for p1 p2 uh, maybe not at the start of the season hopefully i can reach there by the end okay. I want to get Rocket's man, Rocket Man's uh, view on this because he's obviously been, uh, you know, communicating with you for a couple of the races in season three, even though he wasn't on track. What do you think, Rocket Man? Do you think Pepe will actually be a threat, so to speak, or do you agree with uh, Big Man Joe and say that you know he'll end up winning more races and Big Man Joe might actually uh, end up getting a podium, uh, many podiums, I'm sure. But yeah. i would say uh, for now uh, it's kind of tilted over to the to general pepe side because uh, he looks like he has the pace and also because uh, big man jo just shifted from uh, controller to his wheel and he's getting used to it he's doing incredibly well but he's still getting used to it and he for him to reach the pace i think it will happen somewhere mid season uh, where they'll have similar pace and big man jo will be toe to toe with So General Pepe for but for now I think uh, General Pepe has the edge over Big Man Joe. Yeah, I think I've been mentioning this a lot to uh, with the other members of the league that post that half season mark, half of the season mark, we're going to see a lot of changes because UK also shifted from keyboard to wheel and Big Man Joe as well. But still, Big Man Joe, uh, Katie B still thinks you were sandbagging in preseason testing. Is that true? I mean, we need can answer that. I wasn't. Uh, I was doing race pace and trying to see uh, in in Spain in the fifty percent race. I think soft to hard is a very uh, doable strategy. So I was just I put enough fuel for that hard tire and I was just trying to see what is the pace difference like. And I was seeing his lap times and uh, he wasn't, and maybe I was. I don't know. I was just doing <laughs> my regular uh, race routine. So yeah. Um, No, I I would say no. I'm I wasn't sandbagging at all. But anyways, now people don't believe me. Uh, <laughs> that's how it is in the league now. After I said no practice, so take it take it uh, however you like. <laughs> you mentioned people don't believe me or what not. So there's an interesting question here. People expect a lot from Big Van Joe. Does this put excessive pressure to the point where it may be a hindrance? Okay, man doesn't think so for sure. Yeah. What about you, Big Man Joe? <laughs> no one puts pressure on me than myself. I, I put, yeah, I would say I, I, I am the one 
pretty much above everyone else in terms of who applies more pressure. So uh, at least Rocketman gets to see the frustration I go through every day, trying to practice spinning out, trying to practice spinning out. So it's it's been a it's been an ordeal because I think one lap pace is definitely there. I can match these guys, but over a race distance, I'll be trying to drive within the limit so that I don't spin out because uh, no assist is is where you get to feel the thousand horsepower beast. You know, uh, no disrespect to the guys using assist. I was, I mean, I won the season three that way. Um, it's very, I would say, uh, in a way, you get used to the car so much that you can you have more mental capacity to think about other things. So when you're driving around track, you don't have any issues to do with the car itself. You're more thinking about, okay, where you're going to be on track, what are the other issues you're going to face. But now that you're driving with no assist, all, pretty much all your mental focus is on not spinning out, keeping the car on track. So I think, yeah, I would say about uh, the mid-season point is where hopefully I can... Uh, uh, yeah, I hope to improve by that point, I would say, yeah. Great. Uh, of course, moving on to close competitors, Rocketman, if I can hear a word out of you regarding that. Close competitors right off the bat going in Australia from looking at the driver's performance preseason testing, who do you think you'll be battling alongside on track? I think uh, Gauts, uh, Nishchai and... Uh... Maybe even uh, Ishan Seka uh, for close competition in the in the midfield area. I, I, I think that will be a close, yeah, pace. Right. Brilliant. That's a good mark right there. Uh, sick name. Oh, SV is somewhere along there as well. What do you think? You, you think he'll actually be ahead, or do you think he'll actually be behind? I I think I think he he is similar on pace terms, but. Uh, yeah, uh, it's my personal opinion that sometimes he misses, like he is not aware of his surroundings and he usually ends up in a lot of trouble. So uh, that might cost him some a few places. So I don't really vouch for him on in terms of finishing on in similar positions. I think uh, pace-wise, yeah, maybe. Uh, but yeah, on, on, on a full race, I don't think... Uh, It'll be close. All right. Cool. Uh, big man, Joe, I'll tell you what everyone thinks uh, your competitor, competitors are, who everyone thinks your competitors are. Um, KDB, UK, um, General Pepe, of course. And, yep, that's pretty much it. That's who they think are your close competitors. Do you think there'll be anybody else uh, coming right up there? Yeah, I would say... Um... Avi, Honig, and Freeze. Uh, I would add other three names there. Um, anyone else on the grid that I'm missing out? No. I think for the 20 drivers on the field, yeah, I would say uh, top six is going to be uh, pretty much among these five or six drivers. Um, yeah, UK also is uh, because we have the pretty much the same setup. I have uh, someone to gauge uh, my pace on because he has the exact same uh, wheel and pedal. So uh, it's interesting how he is. Uh, change from a keyboard to a wheel. That's a very like steep transition. At least keyboard, you get to experience some feedback from the car, but on a keyboard, I mean, that's that's incredible. I mean, what he's doing as well. So uh, he also empathizes with what I'm going through uh, in terms of trying to get up to pace. But I think once he also gets very comfortable with the wheel, he'll also uh, be up there. If you really want to put money on it, I would say KDB and uh, General Pepe fighting for overall pace and the wins in most of the races. And then uh, three or four of us will be fighting for whatever is left. All right. Uh, let's talk about constructors on that note. Uh, Racing Point's pretty confident they're going to get it. Haas, as we saw in the post pitch chat, as far as I can remember, Prophecy was uh, super confident about that. Um, this time around, we've got two of the drivers for constructors. Last time around, it was just you, Big Man Joe. So, how much of a difference do you all think it'll make? Is that a more important goal? Anything on that regard? Rocket Man, let's go with you. Yeah, I think it'll be a bigger fight than it was last season. Last season, it was just uh, Big Man Joe fighting for Alfa Romeo, and I, I was out uh, around mid season, I think. 
so yeah it was pretty much a one man army that back then but now yeah i want to uh, contribute more into the constructors fighting and i i think uh, mercedes w- will be the obvious contenders for this but uh, yeah this if big man joe gets to his best and i get to my best i think we can give it a shot up there in the top 3 top 4 All right. Okay. And your thoughts on the constructors title? Yeah, I would agree with that. I think uh, uh P1 for constructors is a bit too far fetched uh because uh, if it was me and KDB then yeah that would be a steel show. But then uh there are other drivers in terms of uh, around Rocketman space. So they are combined with other fast drivers. So it's going to be a question of do the fast drivers win the races and do the second drivers also be up there in the top 5 top 10 so it's important that we work as a team and try to get you know both results and of course through the season as the season goes on we'll be trying to improving so if you want to again put money on it i would say we are aiming for uh, third place in constructors i think that would be a reasonable uh, goal to have yeah all right interesting um let's jump into the topic of uh, favorite races or a race you're looking forward for uh, going into this season okay man you were absent for most of the season uh, in season 3 uh, is there was there one track you really wanted to race at and you didn't get to i think it was a uh, spa spa <laughs> spa yeah. i can't i can't miss for my life so uh, i would definitely definitely look forward for spa uh also i think uh monza as well will be a good good race this time so, uh, especially on equal performance i would like to see how close it's going to be so yeah i'm looking forward to these two races brilliant and big man joe what about you yeah if there's if there's anything i learned from last season uh if you're fighting for drivers championship or even constructors you can't like you can't afford to have favorite tracks that's the only problem with it like even you have to win on your least favorite tracks even tracks you hate so it was uh, a big challenge going when i was doing it in season 3 you know having to be fast on tracks that i don't like as well and doing that also made me appreciate how those tracks are as well you know not every i think for the most part our favorite tracks are very subjective in terms of what we like but when you are fighting for points i think you have to put that aside and try to get maximum points on every track so um just if you if you asking my personal opinion yeah i would say um silverstone spa uh, usa is one of my favorite tracks because i love the flow on that um and of course the new tracks i want to try out zandvoort 50% uh, vietnam 50% that will be very interesting to see over race distance how that is but uh, that's uh, yeah but yeah again we have to try to get the maximum points in every track so let's let's hope we do that all right cool great here uh right before i wrap this up uh, rocket man me and roots feel you're going to end the season on such a high that you're going to actually prove us wrong at what price we put you in for bidding so it's going to seem like big man joe got a steal of a deal getting you on board to his team so that's all we expect and yeah i i have a feeling that might just happen either ways boys yeah i would like to see something yeah that was way too less of a price for me okay <laughs> i yeah, okay. definitely prove you wrong <laughs> okay brilliant awesome can't wait to see you guys on track good luck yeah. yes